Hey, this is version 2.3 of my build. So what I suggest to do is design to the minimum living comfort. Move in, and as you do, you'll find out what's important and what's not. Believe me, the results will surprise you. This is the part nobody can tell you or show you, and it will determine your comfort on the road. Okay, here is the uh, driving compartment of the van. As you see, I haven't got to those doors yet. You'll see what I'm talking about. The back I'm sure you have already. There's the new carpeting down there. This was a dark wood, and that was a light wood. All this was dark wood, and that was light wood. So I had to paint them something, so I just thought the red stood out and looked good. There is my... Rear view camera. More. That's the backup cam. That's the front dash cam. That's the GPS for it. No radio came in this, and it doesn't need one. There, I've got a tablet mounted. And all my papers here. Obviously, with a brown dog, I didn't pick the bus color for seat but they'll have to do for right now this is the compartments that they go on back of doors we've all seen them in closets and the rack I put up above there right behind the driver's compartment that hold miscellaneous things dog treats wires I just have the drones here right now walking stick back scratcher as always and cooler cup whisk broom and a paintbrush to help take care of this this black vinyl which I still have to get a carpet for next on the agenda is my refrigerator it's a 54 quart costway as you see, I've got a fairly full right there. Some ammunition boxes that has various things in there. Um, there's a monitor for my editing. There's a shaker. And some glasses for when I have company, a wine cork. There is where my outside electric's plugged in. It does go into right there when I use I'll pull this back so you can see there is my inverter my fuse panel my battery solenoid to run off the 12 volts also a USB port right there and a 12 volt plug in right here. Here is my stand. I can put whatever on there or my laptop. Uh, mouse pad right here then down here there's another little tabletop I did have my my uh, stove there but uh, it's around back I moved it back this bag of be in a uh, in a camper in a uh, teardrop this is as you can see you'll have the full windows here I've got them blocked with styrofoam for privacy and insulation in the summer. I'm going to work out something up here at top still. All the way around. And there's my buddy Bullet scratching. Hey, there, good boy. Yeah, yeah, he got in trouble earlier for chasing after a car because another dog did. So, and there's the bed. I've uh, done a video on this, and, uh, but as you can see, it's made of pipes. 
There's my water supply, my trash. Uh, as you can see here, what I was talking about with the front, how I haven't done the doors in the gray carpeting. I have some decorations to go on there. Just like I've just got this started right there. I don't want to put my computer away. I bring this right there like that. And it's pretty sturdy on there. When I close this door, then I use this bungee cord to hold that up against it. So this isn't sliding back and forth. And there's my microphone for the audio parts of editing my YouTube videos. And that should cover the inside. Okay, here is the kitchen slash shower room. I've got plenty of these magnetic strips which hold the shower curtain up and <clears throat> goes right across here. Hot water heater, tankless, do a hot shower, warm shower, whatever. Um, 12 volt water pump. There's the water pickup into the jugs right down there. See another wire running in there. That is to the backup camera from before that sits right in the center of the spare tire. If I get a cover for this, I'll have to move that. Uh, grinding wheel, part of my workshop. The rest of my work tools are gonna be going to go under there. Here is my LP tank. It's hooked up just to the shower stove I've run off of the steeds I fill them up off the big tank when they when they run out I have about eight of them this way I can take the uh, stove and take it over to a picnic table or wherever take it inside the cabin and cook if I if it's a rainy day and you saw my broom and paintbrush up front but this I found this at least the pole in New Mexico. Probably a treasure hunter who got too deep into the woods and bent it. Well, I salvaged it and it made a perfect little broom for inside the van. Here's my mat that I'm sweeping off for when I take a shower. And there's my spices. Let me hang this back up. Spices for when I cook. There is there's a little cutout that slides this right in there. Had everything fit. And that's the tour of the van.